Hello there. Hello. Well, no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's us. Uh, it's Kat and it's Bill and we're hanging out uh, here at the uh, Entity Comics Lounge, as it were. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's us right now. Yep. You, you, you see us, right? Just hanging out. I just noticed that we're we're closed captioned as I'm talking. That's pretty cool. What? Oh, I've got a live. Uh, I got a screen. Oh, you actually turned it on. Uh, I'm on looking at myself watching. at myself with myself magazine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the last day of our very first solo Kickstarter for Entity Comics Parody Division Number One. Yep. So I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah, it's been exhausting. It's a learning experience. Uh, we're used to working with 20 people all at once to make all these things happen, to make it all work. And this has been, it's exhausting, but it's also been a lot of fun. Am I right? Yeah, it has. Yes. So, uh, so hey, oh, Kevin, hey, how you doing? Good to see you, Chet. Glad you're here with us, man. Uh, as you can see, we're slightly out of breath. We were out some of the day. We're working some of the day, multitasking, doing a hundred different things. And the Kickstarter is going to come to a close tonight, uh, in in a little bit less than an hour, nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Got fifty-one minutes to go. Fifty-one minutes to go, and let me see where this thing is at. My goodness, I have to pull up like 20 different screens to know where I'm at. And there I am. So we're like at, like at 85.98 with 262 backers. You guys are so awesome. And it actually says right under 50 minutes to go. That's pretty amazing. You guys are awesome. So, Kat, are you exhausted? Yes, very, <laughs> very much so. It's also at the end of like a long work day for me too, so I'm like, oh. I'm at a fine art gallery right here in Virginia Beach, at the beach, close to the beach. From her door, you can see the beach. Yeah, we're only um, we're only one street away from the actual border. <laughs> Kevin, yeah, it might just be talking heads for a little while till uh, until we uh, maybe have some some uh, some stuff to show, maybe some artwork to show. Um, I do have a new Kickstarter page with a new image, and I'm going to try and share that tab if it lets me. So I'm gonna let's see. Share screen thing thing, uh, tab, and uh, yeah, this one right. Oh, there you go. There we go. I'm gonna share it with you guys. There you go. Uh, if that's actually popping up, let me see. Is that? Oh yeah, it did pop up. How about that? So that is one new page. I'm just about done coloring. The book's gonna have a lot of different uh, looks and styles. Uh, like this right here is more of a, more like a rendered kind of pencil, uh, you know, procreate kind of style. There's going to be pen and ink style. There's going to be multimedia, you know, mixed media ink styles and painted styles. It's gonna, it's, this book's going to be like a nice showcase. Got a little bit of everything. What, 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 what do you think, Kat? I like it. I am dreadfully <laughs> tired. <I'm... laughs> this is going to be a long 50 minutes. Yeah, and I've just been, I've been very angry all day. <laughs> like, tell it, us, it's tell just, us your woes. It's just one of those days where just everything annoys you. And oh, then okay. any little inconvenience just turns into everything bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so this was cool. This was, uh, I was working on this today. And. I like the way that it's coming out. So it's still got a little bit more left to do on it, but that's all good. But I'm super happy that we did as well as we did. We uh, we kept our Kickstarter 
simple and and manageable because it's just the two of us making sure that we can actually deliver and print and do all of the nuts and bolts on top of the fact that we're producing the book, which is what we're used yeah. to doing. To not bite off more than we can chew so we don't burn ourselves out. Yeah. I constantly, throughout this entire process, because like for Kickstarters, I like to make it like a three-month process where it's like a month of like planning and getting ready for it, a month of actually pushing the thing, and then a month of fulfillment. And all throughout that first month of like developing and going through everything, I had to recalibrate you more times than... I can even count because you would be like, no, we should have like a million variant covers. We need to get all these people on it. And I'm just like, dude, just run it once. Dude, I wanted I wanted to do like 20 covers. I wanted to do like an even thicker book. Um, and we're, what we're doing already is is a pretty thick book. We're, it's 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 a 36 page comic plus covers. So we're looking at 40 pages of content. Um, there's gonna be tons of material in the PDF that's not in the book. So that, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but as far as the book itself, yeah, you're, you were correct to rein me in because uh, we just don't have the staff. <laughs> well, like, you just don't have the time. Yeah, there's only so many, so many hours in a day, you know, so, and that's, that's something that I need to be reminded of constantly. And, and so it's, it's good, you know, to have, to have the left brain available Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just think it's really funny because there'll be times where I'm just like, okay, it's like, like I would get samples from the printer to just be like, okay, this kind of paper, this kind of paper for this thing. And you're just like, what thing? And I'm like, the thing you wanted. And you're like, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's, uh, she's doing all the left brain stuff, like picking out printers for different things and for prints and for the stickers. We got some cool, uh, sticker stretch goal surprises that we're going to include in with all the physical tears that'll be really fun that'll be really really cool paul how you doing my friend howdy <laughs> my extended artsy family <laughs> yeah you're right chet um halloween is actually going to be october is going to be kind of a busy month for us but we'll we'll talk about that uh fairly soon we'll just we'll just keep tonight about parody division Number one, but yeah, October, my goodness, October is going to have a lot of things mm -hmm. going on that you will definitely want to know about. Yeah, we'll start talking about it probably at the beginning of next month, at the beginning of September, we'll start talking about it. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to be, like, basically the last quarter of the year is going to be absolutely insane, and I'm really excited to get into that, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. That's, that's, that'll, that'll be lots of fun. <laughs> And it's gonna be a lot of stuff that uh, that you're not expecting. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be really cool. Let's see here. Now I am popping up. This is Kat's cover for her side of the book and her content of the book, the Midnight Snack. Yes. And the Waffle Dragon. You get to meet my. Uh, this is basically my parody on Batman, but she is a convenience store vigilante. So we'll get to see. You'll get to see how I make fun of uh, a lot of different kinds of like DC characters. First of all, that freezer that you illustrated in the background is so legit. <laughs> I like. Uh, I actually really like drawing backgrounds, so that was a lot of fun. Mr. Waffleopolis. Yeah, Waffle is being little studio dog is being needy. So if you hear any like whimpers in the distance, he's not being tortured. He's just acting like we've never hugged him in his life so that he can <laughs> get us into our dog. That's the big. <laughs> he's a little man. Man, so ha, huh, here I am. All right, so now you now you now you see that I'm actually I'm actually here I'm actually live in the studio. Um, no, we just had an absolutely fantastic pre-recording of you. <laughs> <laughs> this was a robot. Pick all the squares that contain a traffic light, so I know you're not a robot. But yeah, we have uh, lots of cool characters, lots of cool things happening in this book, and for the amount of support that we got, I. 
so so amazing because we didn't have like half of the book or all this material for preview material. So the, the preview material that you did see, very indicative of what's going to be in the book, what the book's going to be about. So I'm glad that uh, that we're getting this kind of support. People don't want to ruin the surprise for, for some of the stuff that's going to be in there because uh, hopefully you'll think it's quite funny. We think it's funny. We might just look funny. It's a live mouse. Yes, Kevin. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably uh, I'll probably want to mm -hmm. post like a couple because I have a couple like one page gags that I can put up as like a preview. But for the other ones, it's like I don't really want to post too much because it it messes up the gag since it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It yeah. ruins ruins the thing thing, right? So. Yeah, but I can put a couple of like one page gags that way uh, the supporters as it's going they can uh -huh. see more more of what they're getting, and there'll be more in the PDF too. So that'll be lots of fun. Come here, buddy. Um, Mr. Waffle Dog. Mr. Yeah. Waffle Dog. Get that dog. Yeah, he's just yeah. being needy. He's being he's being a good little dog right now. Yeah, look. Look into the camera. Make love to the camera. Look. Look at the camera. Yes. <laughs> so anyways. Maybe, maybe he, he has the munchies. But he is uh he is the waffle dragon, so he is the live action version of the waffle dragon. You'll see right there on the cover. That's <laughs> That's Catherine's vision for what Waffle does when he turns into a little dragon with 10 feet, tons of beans. Plentiful harvest. <laughs> so yeah, Savage Becca is a, is a severely OP'd character, but still, step on a Lego, that's, that's still going to do you in. So that is a little bit of what she's about. You can, you can see that the, the, the return of Stupid Man is also on the cover. And that's, uh, that's a nice little full circle thing, a uh, nice little inside joke uh, for us and for Don Chin and for our parody press days together uh, back in the 90s, because Stupid Man was one, of our, was one of our big books. That was one of our bigger, uh, bigger deals. So we had, a, we had a good time bringing that back, as it were. <laughs> ten feet of beans. No, not ten feet of beans. No, 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 no. This is... It's not that kind of book. <laughs> so it's all bueno in the hood. Okay, buddy, I'm going to put you down for a second, okay? Yeah, I'm going to put you down for a second. So yeah, we're here at the lounge, and this is basically just us hanging out. Uh, ask us questions. We have nothing to do. The campaign's almost over, and we have 39 minutes left to go. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how to tap dance. Uh, Kat could turn on her camera, maybe. No, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> I would not do it. I would not do it. But uh, let me see here. Let me, let me uh, see if I could share another screen. And put up another piece of artwork from the book. And we shall go from there, as it were. Here, I'll put a, I'll put up this piece again. This is like this is this was the newest update, so I'll I'll leave this up for a few minutes. Oh yeah, Paul. Well, current commission list is long. Everything is is long right now. Uh, when we go to San Diego Comic Con and leading up to that particular show, everything just kind of funnels. And for some reason, I I still take a lot of orders uh, during that time. So. I continue to put people on the list, but everybody needs to understand that it, it does take a little while to catch up. So once we're done, <laughs> it's long. Once we're done uh, just setting up uh, and, and finishing up with the campaign, and Kat actually has a convention to do tomorrow. She's at Superstar Anime uh, in Virginia Beach at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. So once we get through this weekend, then I'll be able to look at the list and really be able to tabulate a little bit better uh, what the wait time is looking like, and then we will take things from there. So um, I don't close the commission list altogether, but when I do add people to the list, I, I do let everybody know that it's going to be a little while before, before we can catch up. And I don't know if I don't know if you guys have seen Prey. Have you guys seen Prey? It's like I know somebody over here has not. 
see him pray. And I, just, I haven't seen any yeah. predator so, movie. So there's a little, there's a little gag with the axe over here on, on this, on this, on this cover. It's, it's lost to you right now. It's lost. Oh, because I don't know a funny predator thing. Yeah, you don't know a funny predator thing. I know. <laughs> it's, it's like I know the culture, pop pop culture behind it. I just haven't mm-hmm. seen it. It's not like I'm looking at that dude being like, "Who the heck is who that? Who is that there's guy?" There's no way I don't know who that is. No, but there's there's a flying axe. You have to know what who the who's who's got the flying axe. You gotta ask me no questions. I'll tell you no lies. <laughs> I just like that you have the uh, that Venom owns the hot dog stand. <laughs> It's Eddie Croc, because he's a croc. It sounds too close to something else. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's a hot dog stand. Okay. You draw your own conclusions. Hopefully, no one vandalizes that logo. <laughs> that is all I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, it was it was cool. Like, uh, there's a lot of characters that are that we're bringing back into the story that were characters that we parodied back in the 90s. So that's, since this was a first issue and it's it's got more story than than the typical issue, I, I, was, I thought it would be fun to bring a lot of those characters and sort of pay homage to myself. I paid homage to myself. I don't know if that counts as a reference. Well, I guess it's published. <laughs> At least I'm published. Yes. Oh wait, let me see. let me try and share the other page. Let me see. Uh, oops. There's too many buttons. See, that's what happens. Okay, I'll try and get the other page up here. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that would make sense, Kevin. See, see, Kevin says that he cooks them all in a crock pot. That's pretty gross with hot dog water. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Venom does not make decent hot dogs. I guess that's why she's so mad. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, but apparently he's been overcharging people for a long time. He he has his little hot dog stand right side of right outside of Central Park and that's where she lives. So she's gotta stand up. She's gotta stand up for people, right? She has to know what, 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 what the deal is. <laughs> right now we're a crock because we're tired we're exhausted there's still 34 minutes left to go so you know what I think I will I will play this trailer because that'll that'll eat up a couple of minutes and if you guys have any questions that would actually help us out because we're so tired that we didn't really prepare for this live stream. We're just kind of chilling out. We needed some drinks. You know, if we had some 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 drinks to just chill out by. But I'm going to I'm going to play this little trailer real quick and then uh and we'll see where the uh where the Kickstarter is. I love uh, I love it when we when we play that with uh, when we live streaming with with other people and being able to share that I made that completely on my phone. That's the budget that we have. And I remember you were so nervous too, like right before we launched it. You're just like, oh dang, we don't got a video or anything, so you're just like scrambling. I fin- and you're just like, this is what I have. You I- put it all together, and I was, and then I was watching it, and I was like, man, you actually did a really good job. It's did good. <laughs> 
I finished that shit like two seconds before it was going to be shared. <laughs> yes. Like, literally. It's a very high stress. I, I wouldn't consider it like as high stress as actually being a surgeon or something like that. Well, I don't know. I've never... Never and, been a surgeon, yeah, so I'll surgeon. never be able to compare. You know what? Yeah. So I'll just say, I'll say this is... You know a, what? It was brain surgery. It was... You know what? I think I have the authority to <laughs> to say that it was just as complicated <laughs> and just as life-threatening as surgery. Absolutely. Um, you know, I want to give a big thank you to... Well, you know, first of all, a big thank you to Don Chen, because without Don, there wouldn't be Parody Press... We wouldn't have had 10 years of drawing comics together and this thing wouldn't have grown from, from all this good stuff. So thanks, Don, when you're listening to this later on because we decided to do this impromptu live stream without telling anybody. And somebody else I'd like to thank is Pops. Pops Van Zant, And don't forget Rich. Hi. Dead silence. Yeah. <laughs> Now, thanks so much to uh, to Pops for doing the uh, the launch party. We had a launch party. It was a it's good. Like, sorry for the dead silence, but it was just turning into like an Emmy thank you speech. So I was just like, "Is there more? Is there I'm more? Done. I'm just gonna sit here more? and wait for well, you to finish." Well, considering that it's if I don't say anything, there'll be nothing, and then it'll yeah. be boring, and then you'll just hear us snoring. Well, yeah, I'm tired, so yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a verbal medium. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, such a great uh, launching pad and great bit of support that, that Pops uh, allowed us to have. So thanks mm -hmm. so much, Pops. Uh, and also a big thanks to Shay. You got to thank mm -hmm. Shay like, yes. for, for the promotional help and, and support that we get. The emotional support. <laughs> the, is so the, the vast <laughs> emotional support from the Red Valkyrie, as it were. Yes, from the Valkyrie crew. And uh, and, I, and we won't forget about Psy, because without Psy, it's like, you know, and none, none of our little side jokes would land. Oh my goodness. I need my <laughs> I need myself my own side because I just the amount of just like technical everything I'm just like, dude, I just I just want to make things pretty. I need someone else to do all the technical stuff. <laughs> But yeah. I have to know how to do it for now because when it comes between the two of us, if it's the one that has like the sm the smarter one, it's mm -hmm. me, and it's just like if I don't do the actual numbers, we will both drown. <laughs> we will drown in our own brains. Oh my goodness! Just in the work. <laughs> oh hey, Jason. Jason is with us. Thanks for joining us, Jason. Hey, I'm hoping I'm hoping people will ask me questions. Maybe questions about the book. Give me something to talk about for exactly 28 minutes, and then we're all going to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I'm going to pass out. <laughs> I might even order a pizza while we're on. Oh, my God. Can I please? <sighs> please, please order a pizza. Please. You know what? The pizza usually gets here in about 30 minutes. Oh, my God. That'd be great. So, dude, like, okay, we're going to order a pizza. Do pizza until we, we fall, fall asleep. asleep. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think that's the most excited I've been all day is <laughs> for perspective pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 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 Paul has Paul has a comment here. Paul uh -huh. he's, he's got a scenario. He's like you're at a grocery store. I've read the scenario. I'm, you, I'm, you I'm, read I'm, it? I'm gonna go ahead and well, just please. stop you right there. Well, well my first question. Yes. A dwarf paralyzed nun is standing next to me. How How'd she get there? If she's paralyzed... Oh, we take it. <laughs> but she's standing... No, if she's paralyzed and standing, then she's one of those, like, possessed nuns. Oh, wait. Then if, like, I can just give her the ice cream and then, like, Yeah, leave. she's gonna open up a portal. I don't, I, don't, I don't need no trouble. It's right. like, I'm fine without having ice cream if I can go and, like, get, like, some cookies and just <laughs> not have to worry about... If I, if I saw... A, a dwarf nun in an aisle, I would just be like, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to take the next aisle. But I'll give you, I'll give you a point for coming up with that character. Like I'm already thinking about what she would look like. You'd be pretty possessed. I like it. All right. Jason says, what is your name? What is your quest? What is your favorite? 
favorite favorite? What? That, that's that, that's hey Jason, that's your question, man. There's no context. <laughs> uh... Well, let me tell you what my favorite is. <laughs> right now it's pizza. Because I, I think we're going to order pizza while we're on. And then by the time this thing wraps up right at 9 o'clock, we're going to have pizza. And then we're going to fall asleep. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, George Carlin goodness. reference. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Giving me so many references of things I don't know. <laughs> yeah, George Carlin is just outside of Cat's Horizon. You guys have to remember that I am like five seconds old. And I haven't seen everything. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monty Python reference. Yeah. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Facebook cut you off. <laughs> I don't know if I could click on that on that link. You can, but I would recommend right clicking so it takes you to like a different window. That way you don't. You'll mess up your stuff. Okay, yeah, the door paralyzed. Okay, I I got you. I got you. Yes. <laughs> Actually, right now I'm thinking like sweep, sweep the leg. <laughs> so now we're getting into Karate Kid. <laughs> here's here's a legit question. Here's a legit question. Uh, will the will the book series be bi monthly or what? I know at the moment it's definitely not even going to be monthly. No, it's not going to be monthly. It might be bi annually. To start off with, it just, biannually. It, yeah, it might be biannually. Well, I mean, oh, my, 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 my Do we goal. Have to fit into like six months worth of content. My, my goal, my goal was to kind of make I it. Thinking. I wanted to make it a quarterly book, for for a parody division. For right now, simply because it's just like I like <laughs> I, I like eating, so yeah, I, you, it means you, that we have to like spread them out just a bit right now. Eating, eating is always good. Yes, eating is always good. <laughs> Um, but for this particular book, uh, I was hoping to maybe do it like on a quarterly basis. So almost, almost like like maybe Kickstarters for this particular book. And this is going to be the only issue one from this book. So if this book ever stops, it's not going to relaunch with a number one again. Because holy crap, there's so many issue ones of everything out there. So whatever we print from this campaign and maybe a little bit over just for our own stock... That, that's it. That Those are the only issue ones. So if we continue doing this series, whether it's on a quarterly basis or whether maybe it's like maybe three issues a year, the number system is going to keep on rolling. It's, it's not going to it's not going to reset every time we want the uh, the sales to pop up a little bit. That's just going to be the next issue. It's going to be the next issue. So that is the general plan with that one. And this is actually a good uh, a good question too. I don't know that every book is going to be an actual Kickstarter. We may actually just or I think the next year mm -hmm. it probably will be. Yeah, I mean, I, I we could probably safely say that. I think so. I think yeah. we could safely say that. Um, but at some part point, of, part of me would still want to make it a Kickstarter from the beginning, just because it gives the option of. Um, uh, of us having like more merchandise. True, and and it makes it a fun event. I mean, right now it. it I would probably it, make them like the kickstarters might only be like a week or two instead if we get if we know for sure that it's just like oh we already know that a certain amount of people already want it so we can already guarantee a certain amount because I think yeah. after a year it's like they're going to be printed anyway, regardless if there's a Kickstarter or not. But True. it's just that there'll be more. 
uh, Kickstarter exclusive rewards that won't yeah. be available otherwise. That way, the everybody who does anything on Kickstarter has things that are like very exclusive. Yeah, exclusive and, and artwork and some yeah, stickers. And, and it'll be the cheapest way to get interior pages from the book. Oh, for sure. And I mean, it's it's a centralized place where we can all meet. That's, that's why I like the event aspect of doing a Kickstarter. Um, is because we all get to come together and. Uh, you know, and we could do live streams like this. We can yeah. joke around with each other. We can come up with ideas, and we cut out diamonds. Like we're just like, yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> we're just it, like, it's like, it's like, I'm going straight to consumer. It's it's <laughs> straight to know, the fans. It's it's fun that way, you know. So yeah, I, I like it a lot more that way. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, you're totally correct. Uh, like multiple number ones is, I, I love having a number one. Everybody loves having a number one. But if every issue is number one, then, it doesn't matter. Anymore. You know, if everybody's super, then nobody's super. You know, it's like <laughs> then nobody is. <laughs> nobody is. You know, so so whether or not it's going to be every book will be a Kickstarter, maybe. I mean, because I I do like the event aspect of it. They might be shorter time spans, like Kat mentioned. I definitely think they'll be shorter time spans that um, way. But I don't want people to miss out either. I mean, everybody's kind of used to having 30 days to be able to commit to something. Doesn't matter. It's the rules that we set. <laughs> it's whatever rules we set. And yeah. Kat kind of runs the LLC portion of our company, so... Yeah, it's like, uh, I love running Kickstarters, but doing 30 days for every single issue would be... I think I would burn out very quickly. And it's just like, oh, okay, you do it all then. You go ahead. You do the thing. Here we go. All, all the parodies that we do, we'll, we'll just parody only number one issues that are out there. <laughs> that'll, that'll be us. The number two of the number one. <laughs> <laughs> this will actually be pretty cool, Paul. <laughs> we'll make it a battle royale. <laughs> See who survives until the end. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's see. Did I ever notice that the original Karate Kid movie, the first member of the Cobra Kai that Danny fights in the tournament is Lamar from Revenge? Dude, no. I don't remember that at all. You're going to force me to watch the movie again now. You have to understand that like my, my entire uh, thing growing up as a teenager, my, my, my entire idea of what romance was was based on Karate Kid. Unfortunately... So now I have to see if it's actually Lamar from Revenge of the Nerds. I take your word for it right now. Because I cannot remember. But now... Me I'm, either. Now I'm going to... <laughs> Kat also does not remember since she was not alive. I did... I did... Uh, I did show her a lot of movies from the 80s. Wow. And, and she's a big... Uh, she's a big Weird Al fan. You know? Well yeah, well, yeah, you, like, downloaded that into me since and, I was, like, five. And she likes all those John Hughes movies, so, you know, it's like, uh, you know, so, you know, the Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink and all that. You know, right, right when she was 16, I kind of got her watching all those. I think most of her 80s knowledge actually comes from Game Grumps. Yeah, Dan from Game Grumps is definitely, like, he's plucked out of 80s space-time, and then I just looked up everything so that I knew that he was talking about. Exactly. <laughs> Plus he does he does give context so oh my god, you didn't Waffle has a squeaky Waffle has a squeaky toy. It, you, so you, I will have you're, to you're closer. I'll have to get him with the elephant gun. <laughs> no. No squeaky. There's no squeaky. Here go sit down. Go sit down. Go, go. Off off with your kid Get out of here, kid. You bother me, kid. He's a good boy. But it is all bueno. Ah, you graduated in 84. Check you out. I think I... Well, I think. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't think. I actually know my graduation year. I graduated in 87. So we're actually pretty close. Pretty close. I still, I still like this one. Cut them off at the knees. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Let me see here. Now I was just scrolling up a little bit, make sure, see if, see if, see if I had any, any more, any more questions, any more actual questions. We got eighteen minutes left to go. Cat is in the background, giving Waffle a treat or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving him yep. treats to trade him for the squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> she has to make an actual trade. So she will trade Waffle the toy for a snack. 
Yes. I must That's a good meet, way to go. I must meet his demands. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. I would have prepared a few more pre-rendered videos if I knew that 17 minutes was this long. Actually, our videos will be better next time because actually, you know, the other videos we do are a lot of fun because we're sketching and we're actually doing something. But right yeah, now we're like we're drawing where we have a topic <laughs> and we have some semblance of a uh, life force. I think this is true. This I'm is true. We tired. we are like extremely exhausted right yeah, now. Yeah, I had a full day. But it's good though. I mean, we're happy. It's like I had a full. Yeah, of course. It's just like it's I'm tired after a day of like doing what I love to do, which is awesome. <laughs> But it's it's still the thing of where it's like, oh, I had like a full like 10 hour work day already. And then I have a convention tomorrow. So my brain is just like, OK, like you get like that travel adrenaline and like work adrenaline. Woo that kind of stuff. Look, what? 8643, Kevin is reporting. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> but, but draw, you know, <laughs> draw waffles. <laughs> Here's a good question. Here's a good question from, from Chet, even though it's slightly off topic because we're talking about the Parody Division book, but we are looking for things to talk about. So that's what we that's what we, we desperately need you guys. So, yes, uh, <laughs> there, that's, it's a good side question. Uh, new Nero book for, for what time frame? I don't and, know what you're talking about. We and, don't have any Nora books. <laughs> Who's Nora? Oh, wait a minute. Here, here, here we go. Here, uh, Nora? <laughs> Who's Nora? <laughs> Ken, how you doing, my friend? I'm glad you could join us. We've got 16 minutes left to go before Kickstarter wraps this baby up. Hello. Fred, how you doing? From uh, Rhode Island, I'm assuming. Yes? Is that, that's all right? Am I, am yes, I getting that correct? Uh, am I getting, getting that correct? <laughs> no, it's Romania. Now, <laughs> now as, far, as far as Nora... You're saying uh, a, a, a time frame for the next uh, <laughs> for the next uh, Nira X book. We're actually working on two different Nira projects. Um, one is going to be from Committed Comics, which is going to be a three issue miniseries, like uh, like the last one that we just completed. And the other one is going to be a big one shot from the studio right here. And those are in progress. Um, and uh, for those wondering, too, because usually I can't mention Nira X without mentioning Zen Intergalactic Ninja, there, there are some, some projects going on with that as well. So there's definitely like, like a, nice, a, nice bit of, uh, a nice bit of stuff that is happening in the near future. The, uh, the next miniseries with Nira is actually kind of a pirate-themed mermaid centric kind of uh, story so I, I think you guys... I like how you say it's kind of that when it's just that when it's just totally that <laughs> yeah 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 so that yeah that's exactly what we're talking about Ken is uh, what what what's happening with the new Nira book and in October we've got I tell you I, I can't even talk about it right now we've, we've got several things happening mm -hmm. in October that I think uh, you guys are really going to like yeah, uh, but, members. But, yeah, but for right now, you need to shut up I need, about it. I need to be quiet about it because we're, because we're talking about Parody Division. And yeah. there's only 14 minutes left to go. I don't know. I don't know if we can. I don't know if we're going to crack 9,000, but this is a, a great number. So the support has been just awesome. So mm -hmm. I, am, I am nothing, nothing but happy. Yes, Mermaid Cyber Angels. Yes, Ken. You know that that's going to happen. This is going to happen soon. We're going to talk about it soon, though. It's it's, it's going to be <laughs> mermaid cyber angels. I know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. It went down a little bit. It goes up a little bit. Every time I check it, it kind of bounces up, bounces down. I think. Uh, oh yeah, people are making changes. Yeah, they'll stuff. make they'll make changes and adjustments. I'll go to the uh, to the list, and I'll see where people have. Uh, not cancel altogether, but they'll definitely change their their option or they come back or whatever. Yeah. And that's totally cool. That's totally fine. All good in yeah. the hood. As long as everyone doesn't cancel at once, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if the, if the next 13 minutes goes just the way it's going right now, I will eat my pizza in sheer happiness. We'll be able to buy the pizza. Yes, this is true. <laughs> oh, my God. We got 12 minutes. Oh, my God. Can you act? Oh, 
There's... I was about to say, we're just like, why haven't you ordered the pizza? But we have that. We're using our phones for this. So... <laughs> I was about to give you shit so, for no reason. So, so as soon as we wrap up tonight, I'm going to be ordering Kat some pizza so that she can snack upon this said pizza until she falls asleep. <laughs> Actually. You tell them, Kevin. You tell them. You tell them all. <laughs> I think Kat's trying to order pizza from the computer. Are you ordering pizza from the computer? That's what the computer's for. Oh, she's live streaming from her phone, but she's not live streaming from her computer. Yeah. Look, look at what she's doing. Yeah, it's like, wait a minute. You're not live streaming <laughs> from your phone. Just use your phone. You have the app. Yeah, but I'm talking. I can't order food. Then give in. me your phone. What? I can give you my phone if you want me to. Do you want me to give you my phone? Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to give you my phone. Oh, I got the, the app thing, too. Yeah, so. the thing I said. The thing. Yeah, the thing thing. Yeah, the thing. There we go. Thank you. Cool. Hey, all right. 11 minutes to go. Cat's ordering pizza as we speak. Delivery or pickup? Oh, my God. Delivery. I'm so tired. Okay. I'm so tired. <laughs> there can be only one. You can set up a delivery order for up to seven days in advance. Are you serious? Why? I didn't think they were that advanced. They don't seem that advanced when I walk in there to pick up. Or, like, I know who drives the cars. And so it's like, I, I don't... It's like, I love... DoorDash and Grubhub, but I don't put like a week in advance. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, Kevin doesn't believe that you're ordering pizza because your video is down. You need to show off the fact that you're ordering pizza oh my God. off the phone. Oh my God, you people. <laughs> you people. What do you mean, you people? You people. Uh, look, look, stutter? Look. Like, <laughs> so where are you at? So where are you at? Where are, you, are, you, are, you, are you ordering? Are you ordering any pizza? I don't, I don't believe it because I don't, I don't even see you on my screen. Oh my God, Pixar didn't happen, huh? Picks or did Hi. see see no, order the I'm ordering you, pizza. I see waffle in the background. <laughs> oh yeah, on your screen yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Classic or like the super <laughs> like more cheese. Not the classic. I want the classic. classic. Yeah, I want to. I want to chill out with classicness. There you go. So then now there, there, there's video now. So we're we're good. We're good. Yo, I, I please excuse like my dead face. <laughs> I this, think this is her exhausted face. I think my body is like shutting down my face because I have to be <laughs> all weekend. So true. Starting tomorrow, she's gonna be, and I don't know if anybody is gonna be watching this that's here locally in Virginia Beach, but we have a show in Virginia Beach tomorrow, Superstar Anime, and Kat, I have a show. You yes, are my roadie. Kat, this time. I am the roadie. I'm the roadie for this show. I carry the stuff. Yes. For this show. This is Kat's show. Superstar Anime. It's going to be in Virginia Beach Convention Center tomorrow. Yes. And Sunday? Yes. Oh. So it's Saturday and Sunday. And this is uh, this is Kat's solo show. This is her deal. Yes. And if you come to the show, I believe I believe there's 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 things or stuff. You know, it's a show. this i see she's ordering pizza how many minutes we have nine minutes left to go there's nine minutes i'm, that's, play, I'm, placing, that's, I'm placing this the order that's this many isn't this thrilling content guys like watching me order pizza <laughs> <laughs> while, while i'm while i'm desperately sitting here you going demanded it. When is i'm the, ordering pizza live when is the pizza coming where's the pizza i see <laughs> it goes through DoorDash, so. All right, we have eight minutes left to go. <laughs> we just, oh, that's my dog. My dog has a question. <laughs> hey. <laughs> my dog has a question. <laughs> Somebody has gone dark. Okay. <laughs> Wait, my whole bit. Hi. Ha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, is, this is how close we are. This is why we have to use the same uh, microphone setup. And uh, headphone setup because we're we're too close. Our desks are right next to each other. We would create a feedback vortex. Look at that dog. Look, look at that dog. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Yes. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? <laughs> 
seven minutes, seven left to go. And then, and then that's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. And then we're going to have pizza. <laughs> uh, and I have a parent. I have a parent. <laughs> Okay, he's I will good, release you. He's he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a crazy boy today. Ooh, eighty six, ninety four. It went up by a little bit. It went up by a little bit. Thank you so much. Seven minutes left. Seven minutes. It's like a countdown. It's like it's, it's like we're at NASA. <laughs> like NASA. I needed I needed to have some like little drum roll music. <laughs> Oh, you know what? As much as I love pineapple on my pizza, it's like it's just going to be plain cheese today, I think. I think we just need to eat the... It just needs to be in my face, and I yeah. need to fall asleep, like, having the pizza. Yeah, I wasn't not in the mood for pineapple today, but I do love pineapple on my pizza. Yes, I loved it so much. I Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. They packaged it so nice. <laughs> Oh, you got to tell you got to tell people what you, what you're talking about. We got six minutes left, so you got six minutes to tell people about your birthday gift. Yeah. Yeah. It, she she really did love it. Yeah, Chet got me. I a, mean, she uh, still loves it. Yeah. <laughs> past she tense. I know. I said it in the past tense, like it was like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a uh, it was a kimono, but it has the uh, mm -hmm. hakama pants with it, and so it's really nice. If you're gonna do that, just stand up and go get him. No, he's fine. It's just those short wine. And, and and he's like, okay, you're not going to give me my toy. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> he has the whine mm -hmm. of, you haven't played with me in 20 million blinks and oh my God. Uh -oh. Gets... I got I to gotta, I gotta click on that to see what it is. It's, it's, I'm, I'm afraid to click too many buttons. It's a Jeopardy theme song. I'll, I'll end up like ending the broadcast by mistake. It's a Jeopardy theme song. Don't worry. Five minutes. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Ah, oh, Okay. <laughs> There we go. Ten hours of music. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the link. <laughs> so you were saying? I don't remember. You were talking about your birthday gift, what? and how how and how is how is set up and what it looks. Like. It's authentic. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It looked really nice. Mm -hmm. it really and nice. I love the packaging that it came in, and it's like the colors are really pretty, and I'm excited to wear it. There is a convention around here. It's another mm -hmm. anime convention, but it's mm -hmm. NekoCon. NekoCon, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, I don't have a table for that one. I go to mm -hmm. that one as a guest, mm -hmm. as a as a attendee. That yes. way, I can just enjoy an entire show just to myself. And so I'm gonna wear it there. And honestly, as soon as it starts getting colder, I'm just gonna wear it whenever. I wear kimonos around town, like just as normal attire when it starts to get a little bit cooler outside. When is that? Um... That festival with the trees. The Sakura Festival? That's the one. That's in spring. That's in April. I like that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very pretty one. I'm so cultured. You know nothing. <laughs> I just, I, you I, just go pretty tree. I know That's lots it. of things. I don't retain anything. But when does I'm it, jostled, does, does that... when I'm jostled or I'm shook, I remember everything. It's just it's just that I don't have a good Rolodex. So you're either a gumball machine and or mm -hmm. one of those like 1990s like magic eight balls. Probably a little bit more like a magic eight ball. Yeah. With like random answers that come up when you don't need them. Yeah, but there's like 12 <laughs> dice in there. Yeah, like I'll, I'll explain <laughs> plate tectonics to you like right now. I will explain to you the entire, but something useful? Uh, probably not. Remembering somebody's name that I haven't seen in longer than two months? Probably not. Oh, thank goodness. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be sh <laughs> That's like the other day. Was just like I'm a, built for pictures. Yeah, that's like the other day. He was playing, a, he was just like messing around with a bass guitar. And I went up to him and I was like, hey. And I was like just saying hi to him and I was talking to him. And he just, he, it's like as if he didn't know I was there. And so I just, after that, him for minutes, and then he finally was like, and I was like, hi. And you're just like, oh, hi. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know. Like, I just pulled you out of the Matrix and you're like, whoa. <laughs> oh, uh, that would be a little part of the story. Uh, I'm not going to give it. I mean, she, she doesn't have a glowing armband on 
hers. Uh, yeah, she. Yeah, I don't know her as as we get into the into the book. She has has a creature, you know, <laughs> has kids or stuff. She. Oh, uh, dude, seriously, like you went to one actual Japan. The bucket list. Mm -hmm. Visit Japan is just like a bucket list item for me. Especially with all the plague gone. It's like, oh no, like, when, when am I going to be? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while. It's not going to be um, super soon. But, but yeah, it's still still definitely on the list of, uh, of things that we want to want to do yeah dude yeah or... no i don't want to be break oh 100... we have 115 seconds to go <laughs> it actually counts down to seconds yay <laughs> it's we're counting them there, down it's, it's like 100 seconds dude share your screen go on the thing and share your screen i, I can't share this screen that's, that's not how then that do works. it on that screen and I share it i don't know how to Open a new tab. You're gonna. I can't. Oh, open. I'm doing this at nine I'm seconds. On, to because go. I'm on Chrome. I have to share this screen from the thing, from the thing, from the thing. I only have 88 uh, seconds to figure this out. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I'll, Are you joking? I'll teach you that later, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> here's 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 what I could do. This is this is my high tech solution <laughs> to this problem. As I'm gonna, I'm You're pointing the camera. Point your I'm just gonna point the camera. There it is. There it is. 70 seconds. Oh my gosh. There if, there, go. if there was ever... This is, this is my live ever, monkey cam. If go. there was ever a way to make you look like an old man, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I might be showing my age, but oh, look at that. Look, in the 50s, it goes red. It does. It goes red. I'll, yeah, I'll figure it out in 60 seconds. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. It's you like got it 40, 49 seconds. <laughs> 49 seconds. Look, look. Cat's right over here. She's, Hi. She's, she's live. I'm over here judging. She's judging me. <laughs> For being old, <laughs> thirty six oh seconds, thirty five seconds. Oh my god! It'd be kind of cool if it did like a different shade of red. It got more more severe as it went along. <laughs> oh my god! This is twenty four seconds. This is the longest twenty seconds of my whole life. Are you sure you could hold up the webcam for that long? It's old so, man. It's so heavy. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> I I have issues. <laughs> okay, back up here. Oh, back. oh ten. Ten. Nine, Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six. six not one. Five, three more dollars. Four, five more dollars. Two. Ah. One. Dear Lord in heaven. Yay! Oh, it look does, what look. It does little confetti. Look oh. what we did. Look what we did. Thanks to you guys. Look what we did. That's so cool. This, this works. So this works. This is very cool. Thank you, everybody, for your awesome, awesome support. Kevin is correct. It is over. It is time for pizza. Yes. And it's also time to put this thing into full production mode. Yeah. So I'm so excited. Very happy. So we've got this going into production mode. Of course, we've got commissions and everything, all the other things that we got going on. We love to juggle multiple things because that's what we do for a living. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're super happy. I'm glad you guys could be here for it. Yes. Um, and I now, am, and I, now with the official backer report, I have to do... All the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> she gets to do all the left brain all stuff. All the spreadsheets. So, uh, so yeah, again, thank you so much for being here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. Let me see. I need to turn my little camera off so that way you don't see the retarded way in which I'm putting my webcam back where it goes. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Uh, let's see. I got a lot of buttons to hit over here. So I'm going to hit the outro, and we will see you guys again soon. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye.